Hello everyone, DSP here. Tonight is Sunday. I don't remember the date. Today is Sunday, December 7th, 2014. And welcome to the Week in Preview. Uh, I'm excited uh, for multiple reasons this week. First of all, after many, many weeks of me literally doing the same exact stuff, of me not having a lot of time to give dedicated attention to each of the games that I've been playing because I was at one point juggling six different games, the good news is that this week we're finally going to be focusing in on a smaller amount of games. We're going to be playing them longer, right? Which means, now, oh, Phil only played this game a couple hours this week. It's going to be different this week. We're going to be able to focus in, hopefully get to new game modes of games. We're going to be finishing stuff up and reviewing stuff. It's going to be a fun week. The return of my podcast, Hate Live, finally, after a month's hiatus, it will be returning this week with a ridiculous amount of content to talk about in that. I've got some plans coming up in regards to the holidays that I want to talk to you about. I want to explain to you what's going on with the website. I want to explain to you what's going on with all of my year-end series. This Week in Preview is going to be absolutely jam-packed with useful information. So please spread the word to everyone who's been at... Undoubtedly, there will be people who don't watch the Week in Preview on the stream or on YouTube. And they'll be, Whoa, what's going on with Phil this week? It's so weird. He's been playing the same games. He's still playing the same games. Is he starting new games? What's going on? Spread the word about this Week in Preview. People are going to want to know. Okay? <clears throat> Someone wants me to flash a nipple quickly, so here we go. No, I'm not going to flash a nipple. That's disgusting, and how dare you suggest it. Thanks, everyone. So first of all, let's get started with... Let me explain to you what I've been doing and what to expect immediately in the in the, the coming future, the coming days. Explain to you what else to ha is, is going to be happening, okay? So as you guys know, for the past several weeks, starting back in, as you know, it was late November, I have been busy playing... All these crazy Anon releases that were all released in a very short window of time near the mid to late November. And it was fun, but at the same time, it definitely took away from the experiences of, of playing these games. Because some of these games, I'm like, I'm loving them every time I play them. And then I don't get to play them for like three or more days at a time because I'm in the middle, you know, of, of doing so many games. I, I, I'm juggling them all, juggling them all, and it takes a while to get back to them. And so undoubtedly there's some people who are, are, are disappointed because maybe I, they really like one game that I'm playing out of the six that I was playing. And I didn't get to it until every th maybe twice a week. And that's frustrating, especially if it's a longer game, to have to wait super long to go back to a playthrough. I understand that. You have to understand that this was the exception to the rule. This was a crazy time of the year. Wasn't expecting it to be this busy. And then all of a sudden, you know, all these games come out at once. It is what it is. But here's what's happening. Here's what's happened in the past week. And here's what's going to be happening going forward. The good news is... I'm pretty much all done with Little Big Planet 3. At this point, Smash Brothers is on hiatus. And as of today, my earlier first stream, which you might not know, I completed Far Cry 4. So out of all the games that I was juggling, three of them I've actually come to the end of, which is great. Now, not to say that I'm not going to go back and, for example, play more of Smash at some point. In fact, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But at this point... I can focus more on those longer ongoing playthroughs that I've been doing that I haven't had a chance to focus on because I'm here, then here, then here, then here, then here, playing so many different games at once, okay? So that's good news, right? So, the good news is, number one, right after I finish filming this week in preview and I upload it, I'm actually going to film the review for Far Cry 4. So how awesome is that? That Far Cry 4 is done. Boom, going to have the review out. It's going to go out tomorrow. Not tonight, by the way. It'll be live tomorrow. So you guys can have my take on Far Cry 4 overall, okay? Um, so now let's talk Turkey, because here's the bottom line. These past couple of weeks, there have been games coming out that I just haven't touched upon. For example, this past week, I did get the chance to play the first episode of Tales from the Borderlands and the first episode of Game of Thrones. I even did a special video comparing the two game series and explaining to you which I think you would like better, depending on what kind of a person you are. So definitely check out that video that is on my uh, vlogging channel, The King of Hate Vlogs. A lot of people have gotten insight from that video and said, wow, thanks for that info, now I'm going to go buy one or the other based off of my personal experience and my personal, you know, preferences. Um, so I did get to play those. However, I did not get to play some of the other newer games that came out, which is Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix, and also 
the, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, what was it? Oh, Captain Toad for the Wii U. These are two games that games, uh, oh my god. Could people in the stream chat please stop derailing the chat? I'm trying to do, <laughs> see what happens when I, it was so nice and refreshing to not have a stream chat. Now we got the stream chat up and running and now we got people typing paragraphs and distracting me with bullshit. Just watch the fucking week of preview and stop distracting me. Okay, I'm going to stop. You know what? I'm going to do this. I don't have to see the fucking stream chat so I can focus on what I'm saying. Okay. So, I did not get to play Kingdom Hearts yet. And I did not get to play, uh, you know, Captain Toad. These are two games that came out this past week I didn't touch upon. Now, I know full well that there's people that want to see me play both. In particular, Kingdom Hearts. There's a big group of people who watched me play that first Kingdom Hearts remix last year. They loved the playthrough and they want to see me go back and play part two. I want to play part two, all right? Don't get me wrong. But you have to see from the perspective of me as a gamer. I'm already in the middle of two JR... Well, I'm sorry, two RPGs. One JRPG in Pokemon Omega Ruby and one Western RPG in Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, they're very different games, but they're still super long RPGs. I don't think it would behoove me to jump into another RPG when I'm in the middle of two others. You know what I'm saying? So I have to logically think about this and say it does not make sense for me to go ahead and start playing another RPG yet, okay? So what will I be doing immediately this week, and when will I get to those games? Let me explain. This week is going to be focused on three games, okay? There is going to be some mix-up in the games. Let me explain. Uh, basically, it's going to be focused on WWE 2K15's My Career Mode until I either get to the point where I'm bored with it or I feel that it's going to end or does end, because people have told me my career mode does actually end. It has a retirement point. The problem is that there's an endless fucking grind to get to that point, and do I want to play another hundred parts and a hundred matches of my career mode in WWE when, honestly, at this point, until I get the, the WWE title and I feel like that's the epitome, maybe I do a WrestleMania match, I want to do other stuff with the game, right? I want to do showcase mode, and I want to do... The simulations that I always do, and I haven't even touched upon those because I've been so busy with the My Career Mode that's so damn long. So I know, at this point, a lot of people who've been watching My Career Mode are getting bored with it. They're like, Phil, stop it. You know, do the other modes. Okay. Understood. But I don't want to drop it either right in the middle. So I am going to be continuing with WWE 2K15's My Career Mode this week. But at some point, if I feel the logical ending, it's time to end it, I will end it. Okay? Unless the game decides to go into the retirement mode. And once that happens, I will be checking out the showcase mode. And then once I get all the details about the TLC pay-per-view coming up, because I'm not sure when it is yet. Even though it's funny because I've been watching Monday Night Raw every week and I don't even know when the TLC pay-per-view is. I may be doing my very first set of simulations in WWE 2K15 for that pay-per-view. Alright? Okay. So... That's going to be one thing I'm focusing on this week. And then, of course, I am going to be focusing on more Dragon Age Inquisition and more Pokemon Omega Ruby. If you've been watching the Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough, you now know that I finally got to the story of the game. Yes, for a long time I was doing all of the side content. I basically became incredibly overpowered, which I didn't even realize was happening. I didn't know that the story-based content didn't scale to the level of your character like some other RPGs. And I did play a big major part of the story the last time I played the game, and I really enjoyed it. The thing is, I don't know how many people followed along with me this long in this playthrough. I think it was up to like 50, 60 parts, and I hadn't even really gotten to the major story yet because there's so much content in the game. So I hope that if you have not been watching Dragon Age Inquisition because you're like, man, he's doing every piece of side content, check out the stuff I did last stream because it's all story-based, and I'm going to try to focus on some of the story. And yes, I will do some side content, but I do want to try to progress in the story a little more before I try to get distracted and focus on uh, side content again. So... That's going to continue this week as well. And then Pokemon Omega Ruby is going swimmingly, in my opinion. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm collecting Pokemon. I'm doing well. I haven't had any real issues yet. I haven't even lost a fight. So at this point, you know, I'm having fun with the game. People who are attending the streams are loving it. They're interacting on the stream. They're all chatting it up and enjoying the streams. That's going to continue this week as well. So to give you guys a rough idea, because at this point, I can't promise you, oh, well, on this day... I'll be doing the end of WWE career mode and starting showcase mode. I can't do that because I don't know how much longer career mode is. But what I put together was a rough schedule of what to expect this week. And I'm going to put that up on the screen right now for you guys so that you guys can see exactly what to expect. So give me one second because I forgot to actually set that up to click. Give me one second to do it. All right. Let's do add screen region. We are. Oh, 
Okay. So obviously I made this schedule uh, yesterday, so it has, still has today's info on it. Here's what to expect roughly for this week. As you see, today I, play, I played, uh, or yesterday I played Pokemon Omega Ruby. Today I finished Far Cry 4, and that playthrough is complete and has been fully uploaded to DSP Gaming. So you can now check out the entire playthrough till the end. The week in preview, obviously, I'm doing right now. Tomorrow's first stream will be WWE 2K15 My Career Mode. The second stream tomorrow night will be Dragon Age Inquisition trying to advance the story. I will also be uploading the review of Far Cry 4 tomorrow to my channel, The King of Hate Vlogs. So for those of you who want to see the review... Check that out, okay? Tuesday, first stream will be the return of Pokemon Omega Ruby. Second stream, as you can see there, was up in the air. I didn't know what I wanted to do on second stream. I have question marks because I didn't know if, if Far Cry 4 was going to have been concluded yet or not. So the question is this, uh, you know, what should I do second stream on Tuesday considering that Far Cry 4 is over? And I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is I could sneak in WWE My Career Mode, right? And then maybe instead on Wednesday there, see it says Dragon Age Inquisition and then WWE My Career Stream. Instead of that, you could do Dragon Age Inquisition and then second stream could be Pokemon, right? And then on Thursday, probably I'll be continuing on either WWE or whatever. It's all going to depend every day on how far I'm getting in WWE and in Pokemon, etc. Some people are even saying another few hours in Pokemon and I may get to the end game and unless I want to do this crazy amount of... Uh, you know, side content or optional stuff, that'll be the end of the game. Okay? So, this is the rough schedule that will change. Now, the big thing that you see on here is that this Thursday is Hate Live. Yes, my podcast, Hate Live, is returning this Thursday, my second stream. It's going to be a ridiculously important ridiculously jam-packed episode full of information. I'm going to give you the rundown on all the games that I played this fall in this hardcore gaming season, what I roughly thought of each one of them, okay, and uh, and what I think, uh, if, if they could be a Game of the Year contender or not. We're going to be talking about a ton of gaming news that's come out, including Street Fighter V being leaked and being a PlayStation 4 PC exclusive. Uh, we're going to be talking about all the announcements that came out during this, uh, this Sony event this week. Some of the stuff that came out during the Game of the Year Awards. I'll be talking about my take on the Game of the Year Awards, which I didn't even watch. Uh, we're going to be talking about so much stuff that's just been building up. The status of my website, which I want to let you guys in on. What's going on with that. And all of that, okay? And, and a full cumulative update on the year-end series and all that kind of stuff. And a, a visit, an impending visit from my parents. I'm going to talk all about that and how I'm going to be handling that during the Christmas week. So the weekend preview this... I'm sorry, not the weekend preview. Hate Live this week, okay, is going to be one of the most important ones that I've done in a long time because it's going to get you guys caught up for the end of the year. I'm going to be announcing some cool fan appreciation stuff that's going to be happening. All that on Hate Live this week. I hope you guys will be here for a really informative and fun episode of Hate Live, okay? Um, and then for, I don't want to give you guys any kind of a more concrete schedule for the rest of the week because as you can see it's all going to be dependent on how far did I get in WWE my career did I beat it right uh, I will say this I will say this there's a few things on the agenda on the docket that I know people want me to get to one of them being Halo 2's campaign which I only played through halfway and if I played it another three to four hours I could easily beat it so even if it's in one long stream, I could probably beat the whole game. I am going to get back to that, okay? That's one of the things that's prominently in my mind is one of the first things that I need to play is Halo 2's campaign because I played it halfway through. It's been on uh, hiatus for quite a long time, okay? Number two, I know that a ton of people are asking for Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm not stupid, you know? I know that people are saying, we want it, we want it, we want it. Yes, I'm going to play it. However... I need to at least beat one of the role-playing games that I'm playing right now before I can start it. And considering the fact that I know Dragon Age Inquisition supposedly is 90 plus hours of content, if you include all the side content, of course. Um, what I'm thinking is once I complete Pokemon Omega Ruby, that is when I will decide to schedule in and finish, I'm sorry, and begin Kingdom Hearts. So, oh, you know what? Let me get rid of this now. Because now you guys don't need to see that anymore. So... If, by the end of this week, right, I've completed my career in WWE, 
I've completed Pokemon Omega Ruby. What will probably end up happening is I'll start show the showcase mode in WWE, which is a completely different mode, a lot of fun. And I'll probably start Kingdom Hearts 2, HD Remix, Redo, whatever the hell it's called, okay? That's kind of what I'm thinking of uh, for a rough idea uh, for this week. And I hope that that's good. I hope that you guys uh, are thinking, wow, that sounds you know fun, that sounds good to us. Uh, if not, I apologize. I wish that uh, I could do the perfect schedule for everyone. Unfortunately, when there's just so much content going on at once, it's not possible to do everything at once, okay? So that's the rough idea for what to, expe what to expect. To review, you will have WWE My Career Mode hopefully completing this week. You will get the review of Far Cry 4, the continuation of Dragon Age Inquisition, and the continuation and possible conclusion of Pokemon Omega Ruby this week. Hate Live is coming back this Thursday, okay? Once I start finishing these games, games that are going to be coming right away are Halo 2's Campaign and Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix, whatever it's called. Um, what can you expect vlog-wise this week? Well, outside of the review in Hate Live, there also will be a new DSP Tries It. I can guarantee you there will be a new episode of DSP Tries It this week. I don't know when it will be yet. Obviously, we'll have our usual vlogs like the weekend preview at the end of the week. I don't know if there will be any vlogs in between. It really depends on if anything happens that I really want to talk about. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm missing, I'm missing doing the vlogs because... You know, things like Ask the King and Hate Live are great opportunities for me to interact with you and to give you my thoughts. And right now, really, the only way I have to do that is kind of on Twitter. On Twitter, I'm, I'm talking every night, oh, I'm in the Christmas spirit and stuff like that. But I don't get to tell you in video form, so I'm really looking forward to that this week. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. The other thing is the other th projects that are lingering. Okay, what's lingering? Well, things like Assassin's Creed Rogue that I never even started. Sonic Boom, which I played like one stream and then I never had a chance to go back to it, right? There's all this stuff around that eventually I want to get to, but I'm thinking that it's going to be a good plan to kind of hold that stuff until dead time next year. Because right now, I think in the month of January, the only thing that's even been announced is Resident Evil's HD remake is coming out in January. And outside of that, there's maybe one other thing. So that would be the perfect time to be trying out those things. Like Assassin's Creed Rogue and the other stuff that I just mentioned. Throw it in there and try to jam it all in and until all the big new releases start coming out earlier next year. Also keep in mind, in next year, that I want to do a major focus on new vlog series. There's two to three ideas that I have for new vlog series that I want to put a significant amount of time and effort into, which is going to mean slightly reduced gameplay. I want everyone to understand that. If you can't have it both ways, it's either going to be tons of gameplay or tons of vlogs or a happy medium. And right now it's kind of like lots of gameplay and a few vlogs. What I'd like to do is kind of do a decent amount of gameplay, but more focus on the vlogs and do things more creative that I haven't had a chance to do. And hopefully I can do that next year, all right? Very briefly, let's talk about the year-end series and Christmas. A lot of people have been asking me the past few weeks, Phil, what's going on with the year-end series? Because traditionally you do the most disappointing games of the year, you do the best games of the year, sometimes you do things like the best DLCs or the games you never heard of this year, sometimes you do your funniest, well, I always do funniest moments. Um, basically, this year is going to be, a little, I am going to be doing year-end series, but it's going to be handled a little bit differently, so allow me to explain, all right? Uh, normally what happens is around Christmas week, Around Christmas week, I lower the amount of gameplay that I do. I reduce it. And, and to, to pair off with the reduced amount of gameplay, I usually start focusing on my year-end series. That's when you might start seeing my Christmas special usually comes out. And then I have the series like, uh, you know, like some of the things that I just mentioned. Funniest moments, etc. This year, I can't really dedicate that much time at that period of time. And here's why. Uh, my parents are coming to visit two weeks from today. In fact, two weeks from right now, I'm going to be at the airport picking them up. And they're going to be staying for about a week. They're coming on Sunday night and they're flying out on Saturday night. So they're going to be here that whole Christmas week. And we're going to be doing family-oriented stuff like cooking and going around possibly buying presents for each other. You know, things to celebrate the holidays. And I'm not saying that Christmas week I will not be working at all. In fact, I can promise you that there's going to be a special fan appreciation, interaction, multiplayer content that entire week. Games like Smash Brothers on the Wii U. Possibly Smash Brothers on the 3DS, because I still have it. Possibly Street Fighter, 5, uh, Street Fighter 4, excuse me. Possibly uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, all right? All these games that I have these multiplayer capability for, I'm going to be doing that week and hopefully jumping in and playing with you guys. So that's going to kind of be Christmas week when everyone kind of has it off. I'll be trying to do interactive stuff with you guys. Now I'm going to try 
to do some year-end series, but I can't promise you anything yet. I have to see how far along I am with the games that I'm playing right now. You know, if I'm still in the middle of three games at that point, that's going to be a major problem, but I don't foresee me still being in the middle of that many games. I think that maybe I'll be between one or two that I could maybe play here or there or put on hiatus for a week until we jump back afterwards, okay? Um, will there be a Christmas special this year? Quite honestly, I don't think so. And uh, that's just me being honest with you guys. Usually for the Christmas special, I put a lot of hard work into it, a couple days worth of work actually, video editing, etc. And I'll be honest, this year with my parents visiting, I don't even have the time to really plan out something special and film it or whatever. Uh, it's going to be too hectic. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot of time taken out of the fact that, you know, this is usually, keep in mind, usually I live in Connecticut, I'm by myself, I have complete free time, complete control of all my time. Now I live in Washington, I live with my girlfriend, we have to run a household together, my parents are coming, we have to accommodate for that. Things are changing, right? Things are changing, and it's okay. It's okay as long as things stay entertaining and fun for you guys and for me. Uh, it doesn't always have to be more of the same. And really, you know, every year we're doing out the Christmas special, Christmas special, has been a tradition, but at the same time, this year it's something that kind of has to go by the wayside. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to do a special Christmas video or anything like that. I probably will, but I'm just saying don't expect some big overblown, you know, big effects musical number like I did the past few years. It's not going to happen, okay? Um, when will my Game of the Year awards be? Uh, pretty much they're going to be next year. And what I mean by that is probably the first and second week of January is when I'm going to start working on my Game of the Year awards. Because at that point, maybe I'll have gotten far enough into Dragon Age Inquisition to give it a fair review score. I will have played enough of WWE, right? I'll, I will have digested enough of all the games of this year. And I'll also have enough time to recover from the Christmas events and visit and everything to be able to start working on the Game of the Year awards. So that's going to be coming early 2015 will be my Game of the Year awards, just like always. Keep in mind that I'm going to need your help with that, but that'll be coming, okay? So, what else? I know, I told you, this is a jam-packed week in preview because there's just so much going on. Um, I'm sure there's stuff that I forgot because there's so much going on. If you have any questions for me about specific stuff, you can always tweet me at they call me DSP. I do my best to try to answer general questions so that everyone knows the answers. Uh, but I do recommend that you re refer anyone who has questions about the next couple of weeks of my content to this video so that they can pretty much get an ex explanation. Now keep in mind, a week from today, we'll be doing another week in preview. What I'll be doing then is giving you an update on how far I actually got with all of this week's games. If I started new games, what's going on with everything, okay? Um, so there you have it. It's crazy. It's still crazy. It's, it is a little bit calmer this week where I can focus more on stuff. And then, of course, keep in mind there's always the monkey wrench. For example, and here's what I mean by that. Out of all the stuff that I just talked to you guys about, all right, all the stuff that I just talked to you guys about, guess what? Impending coming out of nowhere, eventually Street Fighter 4 is going to release their Omega Mode update which is supposedly supposed to be a free DLC update that's going to completely remix Street Fighter 4. It's going to have all new moves for all the different characters, and it's going to basically bring new life into the game, although it's not, uh, it's not clear yet whether the game's going to be balanced enough that it'll be a tournament or competitive game. It's still going to be a lot of fun if it ends up being what Capcom has said it's going to be. And no one knows when that's coming out. Some people said, oh, it's going to come out after the 13th. Some people are saying, oh, it'll be here by the end of the month. Whenever that comes out, I am going to be taking time out no matter what playthroughs I'm in to do it. Because number one, I haven't played Street Fighter 4 now in months. Number two, I haven't played a fighting game in general in months. And I really want to play. And it's number three, that's a perfect thing for me to start playing and play with you guys. Right? We can all jump in and try out the characters and all the new balances and moves and this crazy stuff that they put into this game. That's coming too. So I didn't mention it specifically because I don't know when it's coming out. It could come out by the end of this week. If it does, great. We'll, we'll do a stream of it. But I need to have it released and know when it's coming out in order for me to give you that that information okay so whenever that comes out as well that will also be involved there okay all right so that's pretty much it everyone for the weekend preview a jam-packed episode so much stuff going on this week i apologize that i went long but there's just so much that i had to mention i'm sure i even forgot stuff Please check out Hate Live this week because I'm going to try to really give you a full update on everything going on, including the full uh, idea of what's going to happen with my parents and how those arrangements are going for Christmas and what's going to happen with fan appreciation and all that stuff. I want to give you guys a full explanation of everything that's been going on with me, the website. Now I have updates and everything, but I just I don't have enough time here to talk about it. Hate Live is the place for that. I hope to see you this Thursday. And, of course, I hope to see you all week for all of the new gameplay going on on DSP Gaming for the vlogs on the King of Hate vlogs and daily here on the DSP Gaming streaming area. 
uh, and also the King of Hate vlog streaming area on YouTube, okay? That is it, everyone. Thanks very much for watching the Weekend Preview. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow for new gameplay. Peace out. I'll see you then. I'm excited. And by the way, let's get festive. It's almost Christmas. So get into that festive Christmas spirit like I've been doing. Watch a couple Christmas movies a day. Listen to Christmas music. Get into the spirit. Tis the season, right? Thanks, everyone. See you later.